wanted to get was that phone call saying my brother was cool. Loved ones are trying to cope after a young father was murdered on the streets of Decatur. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Erin is off tonight. The family of 21-year-old Adrian Chapman says they want answers. Chapman was shot and killed yesterday in the 800 block of West Decatur Street. WCIA3's Raquel Martin has more in tonight's top story. What am I going to tell my niece? What am I going to tell my son? My son seen him literally every day. More than a day since Adrian Chapman was killed, and it's something his sister still can't bring herself to do. Like, how are we going to explain to them that we don't even know what happened? There's still no answers. Police have made no arrests in connection to Chapman's murder. The 21-year-old was shot and killed just after midnight on Tuesday. You don't feel real. It's a nightmare. Loved ones say losing Chapman is a pain they never imagined, and he's someone they'll never forget. I know he's going to live on through us because his spirit was to die for. He was always energetic, happy, never a dull moment. A brother, friend, and father, they say there was no reason for this act. He was the best dad that you could ask for. Right now, family is focusing on prayer. His sudden death sent a shockwave through the community, and, and they're fed up with the violence. And we're supposed to stick together, put down the guns, stop the violence. It does nothing but kill. Decatur Police is investigating Chapman's murder. Family says they're hopeful someone comes forward. Somebody knows something. He, he was not by himself, and I just want them to know that they took somebody so precious from a lot of people. In Decatur, Raquel Martin, WCIA3, your local news leader. Now Chapman's family has set up a GoFundMe page to pay for funeral expenses. They are also holding a vigil tomorrow evening at Garfield Park. They're welcoming other victims of violence to join. They say as a community, it's time to come together and put an end to this. This is the fifth murder indicator this year. The latest FBI statistics show violent crime has grown in Decatur, Springfield, Danville, and Champaign-Urbana from 2015 to 2016. Now, we're, when we're talking violent crimes, this includes murder, rape, robbery, and kidnapping. Danville saw an 11% increase. Champaign-Urbana, 7%. Springfield and Decatur had an increase of 3%. One